Hello, we are Scrumbledore's Army. Our application is called the Tobacco Tracker, and this is our presentation for deliverable number three. Once the link to this presentation has been uploaded, it will be available on YouTube at this link. This is our team. Michael is our product manager, QA, and a developer. Scott, our QA lead and a developer. Ben, developer. And Dave, that's me, doing development and QA. So, this is our project, and we, we know that smoking is an unhealthy habit. Our solution um, is an application which tracks the contents of tobacco a person consumes. Here are some early screen prototypes that we have been working with. And here is the high level architecture. The languages and libraries that we're using are Spring, AngularJS, MySQL, and the Happy Fire server. So some of our initial research and development is on shown here. We discovered a web framework that we can use for the UPC scanning. And we also did some research on the internet for UPC codes for cigarettes. Um, the problem with this is we discovered later on that some of these UPC codes, actually most of these UPC codes, aren't exactly accurate. This is our timeline on development, and I'll talk about this briefly. So the milestones we reached as of March 31st is we have deployed a Hello World app to the HDAP platform using the Docker Jenkins pipeline. We created our main GUI screens. We stood up our database, created our primary tables, and Dockerized the database. And finally, we have started creating our documentation. So ongoing work in Roblox as of March 31st. We're continuing to build out our front end GUI code. We're also continuing to build out our back end code, that is our RESTful API and our database access. One major roadblock we have reached is that Rancher has been down for several days. This has delayed integration testing as we have not been able to test container to container connectivity completely. And something on our to-do list is we need further discussion and design work on the best approach to update a patient resource using Fire. We'll continue to discuss this in upcoming team meetings. So our project will be deployed on the HDAP platform, and it will consist of two Docker containers, one container for our front end web page and another container for our back end to include the RESTful API in the MySQL database. One thing that we aren't going to be doing is accounting for security, as currently we are not working with any live actual data. So here's a few screenshots from our application. This is the login page. And once again, because we aren't dealing with any security issues right now, the uh, username and password will not be stored in any encrypted form. This is our barcode scanner page. And the user has an option to either use their camera to scan in a barcode, or they can enter one in via manual entry. And I'll show that here. This is the uh, tracker scanner entry page. And as you can see, the user can enter the UPC. Once the UPC has been entered in, we'll go look up the tar, nicotine, and carbon monoxide of the cigarettes. And then we'll multiply that by the number of cigarettes that the, that the user has, has consumed. And finally, this is some research that you can go to for further information. Thank you for your time. Bye.